I'm in sales and marketing here and I'm going to go to all quotations and I've got a few quotes in here but I've made a small customization to show a button and this button will give me a template here and when I click on the template it's going to go and open Word and populate some data in the Word template. So let's have a look at creating a Word document. So first I'm going to go and go to Word and I can pick for example a um, document template. So I'm just going to pick this document template for example. Now it's got basic sort of fields in there but I want to populate these with links to Dynamics AX. So I can go to Dynamics AX and I can click the Add Data button and this will ask AX for the list of data sources that it has available and you'll see here for example you have a few one of them is my sales quotation and you'll see for example if I go into AX organization management and then my document data sources the list that it's displaying here and if I can position them no, I won't be able to position them side by side but essentially it's displaying the list of queries that are available so I've got one here which is the sales quotation table for example so if I close this go to my Word document let's try that again All right, now we can see that. So this is the um, sales quotation, so I'm going to say OK. All right, so that'll open up the query and give me a list of the fields. Now I can go through whatever's in that query. So let's say, for example, um, customer uh, number, for example. So let's do customer account let's do a quotation for example um, I'm just going to put here re quote and we can put the quotation number for example and I could obviously go through and fill in some additional sort of fields and, and stuff like that um, but that'll do for the moment that obviously take a, a little while to sort of fill this in so once I've done that I can save my templates I'm going to go and do save as and at this stage I've populated a um, SharePoint document library so I can um, save it directly to the SharePoint Docker library but in this case um, I'm just going to save it to the file system and then we'll upload in two steps so I'm just going to put it in my temp folder and then I'm just going to say quote template for example temp template so it's a docx file so doc template so we'll save that in there um, so I'm going to close my word document and I've already got it saved as a template so I'm going to go to my SharePoint library here and add a document so we're just going to browse now again you could have saved it directly from word in here um, it, it um, and let me just fix the name because I can't type so quote template um, you could have saved it from Word in one step to the SharePoint library if you wanted. Now you could put properties but in this case um, I don't need to so I'm going to put it there. So now we've got the quote template which is the name of the document and so what we can see if we go into the organization management document management um, what I'll see here is that I've created a link to that SharePoint library so it's a template library um, that's on SharePoint and 
when a, a document's created it's going to save it in this archive directory so the temp folder but what it's looking at is the SharePoint site and the form templates which is that folder that we had up here on SharePoint so when I synchronize this um, what AX is going to do is going to look through the documents and see if they match any documents um, uh, or the data in the documents, the schema is going to match any of our uh, document data sources, so the document data sources here, and then populate us a list of uh, the documents. Now the key thing here is the primary table. So this primary table needs to be related to the form for that button to work. So I'm going to go and activate uh, this new document template and then we'll close this out. So once we've done that I can go back to sales and marketing, my all quotations and this was our quotation for example so if I have a look at the generate uh, from template I'll see that I've got a quote template so if I hit that now that's going to open up um, Word it's going to execute the query because essentially um, AX is just giving the query a filter and in which case um, the data is going to be populated based on whatever we put into this document. So formatting should be complete but the data will be passed across the query. So in this particular case um, the linking is really driven by the um, document data source in which case which is the query reference here uh, for Word for example and the document type which is the connection with the library that we've specified here. So that's a quick walk through walking it, uh, creating a quote in this example but in theory you could do that with any document in AX as long as you've got um, the data source and query published um, that you can use that word